you know, but the damage these people do until you go through it or watch someone that you love go through it, you have no idea. To explain what just happened. You need other survivors. You need other survivors. Um, the only caveat being when you talk to other survivors, sometimes, um, and I've seen this happen too many times, is they get stuck in the ruminating mode where all hmm. of the conversation from two survivors that that haven't healed or done the work, they just keep going back and forth and talk about the narcissist, which is very helpful to get validation when you're talking to another survivor. That is the first thing, or victims, first thing victims need is validation from someone else, that they're not crazy, that this is real, <laughs> and that's the first step to being a survivor. And continue to ruminate. No, and and when you be in the you be in the wrong room, just keep ruminating. You'll never really get anywhere, and it'll always be, it'll turn into blame shifting or victimhood if you're not careful. I'm imagine I, I don't know. You so have to you, eventually move from that stage. You do. You have to. So the cognitive dissonance is a trauma in itself. It's not just a word that we throw out and say, "Oh, it's cognitive dissonance." You have you know, two people that you're in love with or you feel two different ways or whatever. And you can, th that's trauma. And what that means is it takes up a lot of space in your head and you want to push it to the side. No, he really loves me. No, she can change. I believe, you know, you're going back and forth with mm -hmm. the cognitive dissonance. You're confused. So you mm -hmm. have to talk it out. Um, and a lot of times only with another survivor Will they be okay, willing right. to take the time because everyone else is sick of hearing about it? Right. Or get, or you should just get over it. These things happen. It takes it's, two. That happens in a relationship. On. Takes two. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Same old story. But what you want to do is get the validation and ask other people how they did it. I had several life coaches for different areas. I didn't have a lot of money. Financial abuse is always involved. Um, so that's really tough. And I was lucky enough to get some life coaches that were so helpful to me, like the one that, that gave me that definition. Right. Um, you know, so it comes to stonewalling. How would you help the audience kind of wrap their brain around what's happening <laughs> when, when when stonewalling takes place? They, they, they just don't want to tell you. They don't want to tell you. They don't want to do it. They don't want to. I mean, we're, we're it's really passive aggressive, ratcheted up. You know, right. the, these are okay. the these are the most passive aggressive. Emotionally five year old people. And when they're stonewalling, it's like the kid having a tantrum and just being like, you know, and sometimes stonewalling, they can get very creative and just keep bouncing the, the bouncing it back to well, you. So they don't have to. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean by that? OK, creative in the way they respond back to you trying to get information. So how creative? Yeah. Give us an example. What, what do you mean by that? Creative. <clears throat> if they don't want to answer a question, I mean, <laughs> think about a salesperson. Mm -hmm. OK. How much yeah. the car is. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. I just tell me how much the car is. Well, come on in. Let's talk to the manager. Yeah. That's like, not I what I you, that's not what questions. I said. I just want to know the price of the car. Right. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I get it. And then you are like this, and they go, Why are you so angry? <laughs> like this uh, is what they do. No, say that again, because I want that as a ringtone. Why are you so hey, do it again? Do it again. Come Why on, just do it again. Angry? That is so funny to me. Okay. <laughs> Nobody else has to enjoy it. It's my show. <laughs> so That's I like right. it. That is right. funny. That is Don't the best. You that. do. That's, no, I won't screenshot. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> That might be. No, I'm just kidding. I think. I think this that's is now uh, the blackmail channel. That, that's, that's, <laughs> uh, I like that. I like that. Uh, this should be the blackmail channel. I can make a lot of screenshots of people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, but mm -hmm. that would be very narcissistic of me to try to capitalize on somebody's vulnerable moment. Yeah. But maybe not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyhow, when it comes to mm -hmm. stonewalling, a five-year-old is literally not cooperating. 
That's but right. they never showed you the five five year old overall. They didn't show you that at the beginning, or maybe they did, right? I don't know. Um, they do a lot of mimicking and they okay. do a lot of mirroring. These people are not unique. They don't have special powers. <laughs> they don't have special powers for sure. They are predatory. That's a special power for sure. But um what, what, they're what did not deep. They're actors. They're not deep. Would you say not deep? Oh, I like they're that. not deep. They're not going to talk about everything's ideas. superficial. Very, everything's super. Very. And studies have been done. They'll talk about bodily, not bodily functions, but like exercising. <laughs> They'll talk okay. about what they oh, eat. Food. They'll talk food. about food. Other things people. That they bought, <laughs> other things know? that they bought. They'll gossip. Okay. Right. Yeah. As far as ideas, they'll tell you what's right yeah. and wrong. Exchanging ideas or, or having any depth or creativity. Yeah, right. No, that's oh. what they show us. And it looks very real and very good. They can't go for long then living a life like that, that lifestyle of being shallow before they have to exit or abandon someone or get out of there or take a vacation or go visit somebody to get they away to, they need to lock you up they need wow. to lock you down you know they yeah. need to get those coils and um wrap, wrap, you, up. Themselves wrap, you, up. wrap, wrap you up yep so wh what are the eight items that you were going to highlight at the beginning now you look oh, tell me you don't come on professor <laughs> i don't know if i can list them for you but you know compassion loyalty um okay. tenacity being able to forgive, you know, if you are uh, religious, if you are Christian, if mm -hmm. you want to do good, if you are conscientious, you, you are um, willing to negotiate even, which is a wow. very normal thing to do. But all of those are normal. Yeah. They're all very normal. They're looking for that then. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. And so a person who finds themselves with a person who has narcissistic behavior traits or they're MPD or they've been diagnosed, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. they can't, they should not, they may be, it's not good to give in that they're a horrible person because they're with the narc. They actually are the prize, as it were. Yes. Yes. Because, you know, some people think that they're not. They think like, <laughs> they've done something evil and this is their punishment being with a narc or something. No, you are targeted for sure. And, you know, at the beginning of the show, we talked about how, you know, does the, does the narcissist know, like, I'm going to target this person, right, that right. person. I mean, that's yeah. very pathological. They just know somebody that's really badass and has good boundaries. They're going to, they're going to test you. They always test you. Wow. They always test you kind of, you know, a couple weeks in or, or whatever, they'll not, maybe not text you as much for a day. You text them back and say, hey, where you been? Or did I do something wrong? You're a target. No, really? Seriously? Oh, hell yeah. Did I do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? We're, we're looking at, we're oh, looking yeah. at a, we're looking at a behavior pattern if somebody does that, mm -hmm. that, that if someone does say some money does me like that mm -hmm. then i'm just a toy to them per se yes that's right they're studying you especially the coverts they want to see how many how many how many hoops how many hurdles you go through not just that or no okay they're studying who you are how you react what you like what you don't like what your insecurities are like they're really studying you yeah that's when really I look back, I'm, I'm, my mind is blown how, how much accuracy there is to that. Could you, could you literally put a, a finger or two to moments that were like that for you? I remember um, certain things like 